Social justice advocate Sandra Fluck appeared at Northern Michigan University tonight. As you may recall, Fluck created a media firestorm last year after testifying about contraceptives before Congress. But that was not her focus tonight. TV6's Beth Cephalou was at NMU this evening and joins us now with more. Beth? Thanks, Greg. Our Pledge of Allegiance talks about liberty and justice for all, but are our leaders living up to that? Fluck says our nation could use a little more work. Take a look. On the values that you fight for and that you claim you believe in, then you've got a responsibility to just step up and put your money where your mouth is. Pro equality was the center of Sandra Flock's discussion with students and residents tonight, something she says still needs more work, and residents in attendance seem to agree. I think there's always room for improvement. <laughs> That's the nicest way I can put it. Um, I think that in general, we, we are kind of lacking in some areas. I think they're misrepresenting us because they don't truly understand our situation. Things like the Paycheck Fairness Act for women or the Employment Non-Discrimination Act for LGBT folks, and that we need to address the civil rights voting struggles that we're having in the country right now. In this election, it was women. The Paycheck Fairness Act would eliminate pay gaps for women in employment, but some in the audience seem to be skeptical of Fluke's position on the issue. They basically pile up the total income that men make and the total income that women make, and then there's the difference right there. Well, of course, the problem is uh, there's more men who are engaged in the workforce than women still. I really don't think that uh, the laws of a legislature can really deeply change society. Despite the position, Flock hopes tonight's discussion will get residents to do more about where they stand. I don't know the solution to the big picture, but uh, I think what she was saying tonight is on the right track. The program was funded by NMU Student Activity Fee, and over 75 residents and students came for the event.